Modern JavaScript includes a built-in primitive type called bigint, which as the name suggests, can be used to represent arbitrarily large integers. We can create a bigint by writing a number as you normally would and adding the suffix n to specify that this is not just a number, but instead it is a big int. It is a primitive type within JavaScript and the type of operator does work on it and it gives us back the string big int. As the name also implies, fractions cannot be a part of integers and big ints can only be integers. However, you can have negative or positive big ints. And the key differentiator between a big int and a number is that a big int can be as big as you want. As an example, if you try to calculate 10 to the power 500 with just JavaScript numbers, that value would be too big for a number and in fact it gives us that special value, infinity, that we looked at in our number lesson. However, no integer is too big for a big int, so 10 to the power 500 as big ints will happily calculate 1, 0, 0, 0, as many as you need. With numbers, it is actually not that hard to run out of the safe integer space. For example, this particular number as a number data type would actually translate poorly and you will actually see 1000 instead of 9999. However, the same value as a big int will be perfectly fine, as we mentioned, as big as you want. JavaScript also provides a big int constructor, which can be used to convert, as an example, strings of arbitrary integer size into big ints. Essentially, passing a string to the begin constructor is parsing, and of course, equality works with begins as well. This parsed value is exactly equal to 100n. And this parsing logic also works with other number systems that we looked at in our number tutorial. So the hexadecimal 64 does still parse to 100n in decimal terms. You can convert between a big int and a number and safeguards exist to prevent silly mistakes, but even then, you should really consider moving between the two. As an example, we can convert a big int into a number by passing the big int to the number constructor. And as you can see, 100n converted to a number is equal to 100 in JavaScript. Similarly, we have already seen that we can convert a number into a big int by passing it to the big int constructor. So the big int version of 100 is equal to 100n. However, not all numbers can be converted to a big int. For example, if we have a number with a fractional part, and we try to convert it into a big int, we will get an error in JavaScript. And the error message will be that it cannot be converted to a big int because it is not an integer. Similarly, if we have a very large big int that cannot be represented as a number, then we will get back infinity. And in the worst case, if it is still within a reasonable limit, we might even get the value wrong. For anything that is beyond max safe integer, you really shouldn't be converting a big int into a number. And for the same reason of possible loss of precision, JavaScript doesn't allow you to mix numbers and big ints in standard mathematical operators. For example, in this particular case, it's going to throw an error that you cannot mix big ints and other types. You should instead use explicit conversions. And the intent here is that if you explicitly convert using the number constructor or the big int constructor, you're sort of accepting the risk that you might lose some precision. So if we wrap the 20n into a number constructor, we can still do math between a number and a number. Big int supports all the standard mathematical operators that you are familiar with for numbers, but with a slight caveat that fractions are obviously going to get ignored. We know from our lesson on numbers that any math beyond the max if integer is not okay to do with the built-in number data type. However, with the big int, it's completely fine to do as big a math as you want. In addition to the addition operator, feel free to use other operators as well. For example, the multiplication star, the subtraction minus, the power star star, as well as the remainder person sign. However, the one operator that you need to be cautious with is of course the division operator because big ints don't represent fractions all of the fractional part will actually get completely ignored in the output. Begins support the standard comparison operators and if you are only comparing begins, then it's perfectly safe. But if you throw numbers into the mix, it's a different story. You can compare begins with other begins using the standard strict equality. You can check if one begin is less than the other or if it is greater than the other or even if it is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to and they all work perfectly fine. However, you should be careful when comparing big ints and numbers. You cannot use strict equality as the strict equality cares about the types being the same. However, you can use those equality, but that doesn't mean that it is a good idea. And the other comparison operators seem to work reliably as well. However, be warned, since not all integers can be represented using the number data type, you might result in values that should be equal, yet they are not. 
the guidance here is that pick a data type that is more appropriate for your use case and then run with it. Don't mix begins and numbers unless you are really sure that the values they contain are safe. Begint is another one of those JavaScript built-ins that you will most likely never use directly, but having a built-in primitive integer that can be as large as you want is important for JavaScript. It allows libraries to use begins internally to do big computations and even provide nice reliable wrappers for mathematical things like big decimals. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.